Hey guys, welcome back to The Order 1886. You know, I've got to say that the series has actually been getting a lot of love. It's been getting a lot of good feedback. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you guys. I didn't think the videos would be doing that well, but it looks like a lot of you guys have been enjoying the game. A lot of you didn't even know about this game, which is kind of crazy. But then again, I didn't really, you know, play it much or look too much into it until recently. That's why we started playing it. But it's just kind of surprising to see considering it's kind of like a PlayStation exclusive, if you will. But uh, thank you again. And today we start off, I believe, in Chapter 5. The Rebels and the Knights are at war. Yeah, we just came across uh, across across one of those. Uh, we just came across an elder lichen. Let's just pretend like that's how you properly pronounce it. And I've got to say, a lot more terrifying than the original ones, like the, the standard ones. They're just more in control of of their bodies, and they can actually communicate with you. And you know, they're not very werewolf like. I mean, they're werewolf like, but they're more human than werewolf in the sense that they're, I guess. Their IQ is much higher, um, which was really cool to see, though. Like, really, really cool. Anyhow, we are back. This is like a movie simulator. Seriously, so many cutscenes and dialogue. The path looks clear of guards. We should hurry. Wait for my go ahead. On me. Yeah, we're in some sort go. of air balloon type of thing. Not really an air balloon, but yeah, some really crazy spacecraft aircraft shenanigan this is like an alternate universe so it's like futuristic but not really come on okay so we're splitting off secure the cockpit and await further orders wait this way monsieur oh we are splitting off Ugh. oh no you Our entrance was not noticed by the guards. Wait for me, shift. I better get to my post. The lock appears to be magnetic. We should find a control unit. Progress, they call it. Looks like a death trap. Oh, so this is that one thing the Tesla gave us. Okay, so lock the moving mercury between the needles. That is so cool. Huh? What the? <sighs> Job for a mechanic, not a guard. Don't know why I even bother. Best built ship, my eye. What up? Galahad, Lafayette. We just encountered resistance from company guards. They are using deadly force. Reciprocate if necessary. Understood. Trying to figure out why the power went out. We'll take out the guard undetected. During stealth approach targets. From behind. I love like when you take people down like that, or you encounter them in a fist fight or some sort. They find a way to the cockpit. They give you like a little cutscene. I think that's so freaking cool. Okay, so we've got a door right there. I want to say it's probably this way. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United States, okay, so we can actually run while crouched. That's good. Oh, the cockpit might be here. So mysterious, so dark. I freaking love this. I have really thoroughly been enjoying this game. Our expected travel time will be approximately three days and six hours. Security operations, come in. Be sure to have someone verify that the cargo is secure. No, I'm gonna go back this way. Screw this. There's nobody here. I was just looking this way. Okay, can we disrupt anything here? No. Oh my god, this is the cockpit. Indeed. Somebody... I'm right behind you, monsieur. 
Somebody was actually complaining in one of the reviews that I saw that they said the game sucked because you couldn't skip the cutscenes. Literally, some of these reviews, man, like, I, I sometimes wonder, man. Like, how can you say a game sucks because it doesn't allow you to skip? I, I guess it's irritating when you've played the game again, but why would you play a game if you're going to skip cutscenes? I can see three in the cockpit. The guard may present a challenge. We'll just have to improvise. This is so darn cool. We're about to take over. Next morning is at Portsmouth, and then it's an uneventful few days to the Americas. Smoke grenade. Oh, on your mark. God. I would love to fly on one of these things. Sure looks cool. We're airborne when I'm back Two. in the hold. But here, one. Oh, Lord. get a prop there dude <laughs> oh my god i swear to god i went to press triangle to like punch him wow that's embarrassing oh god my boy is a savage look at him yeah that's like a 12 inch blade what did what, what are you doing with that oh oh this is awesome oh, kill him. oh i feel bad for them not really fuck them we seize the ship in the name of liberty. Percival, the cockpit is secured. <gasps> Lafayette will remain at the helm. What is your status? Lord Hastings is in the vicinity of the ballroom, aft of your location. We will try to get eyes on him. Get here fast. Acknowledge. Shall apprise you once I have made reconnaissance. Remember, a steady hand at the tiller at all times. Leave it to me, monsieur. All right, head to the ballroom undetected. So I've, I've, I've been enjoying this mission because it's it's pretty much stealth. A lot of the game has been, you know, slow to modern pace, but. Damn it, Bailey. Always forgets to keep the comms and the door locked. For the most part, it's just been like a guns blazing type of game. But now, right here today. You take these guys out. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? Like, these little cutscenes, like. A4 detail hasn't reported for ship change. Is Bailey still up there with you? No. Um, he left a few minutes ago. Maybe he stopped for a cigarette. You don't sound familiar. Is the captain available? He's at the helm. This is it. Piloting the ship. I. I'll send someone to find him. That's all. We need to get back to work. Cheers now. Uh, very well. Okay, we should have a couple of people. Oh, there's two of them right there. All right, we're going to take this nice and easy. All right, so we can head left or right. Yeah, yeah. The company posted sharpshooters down the platform. Just a rumor. But best keep clear of the dogs. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this guy's headed that way. Ooh. Head to the ballroom undetected. I'm shaking right now. Okay. Now I could take them out, but what's the point of me taking them out, right? 
Because then I have to worry about them finding the dead bodies and stuff like that. The ones that are kind of enclosed inside rooms and stuff, I can easily do that. United India Company latest acquisition deemed pervasive. Okay, that's got to be the ballroom. There's nobody here. Excellent. You know, it's about to go down here eventually. And tell me how cool this fucking aircraft is, dude. This is insane. Percival, we have a complication. Lucan is on board. My brother? What is the night commander doing here? Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Lucan. Quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Damn it. He was to escort the Lord until the ship reached our borders. Should he be informed of the situation? Risk alerting the rebel agent. Galahad is right. Alistair will not appreciate being kept out of this. Worry about that later. He might yet be welcome support if the situation requires it. We proceed as planned. Understood. I'll let you know when I have a better vantage point. Hold confirmed. The rebels are using stolen company uniforms. They'll be dressed as guards. Guards without proper insignias. The uniforms in Whitechapel didn't have shoulder patches. Indeed. Keep me informed. Turn so I can see. Patch confirmed. Guard nearest Hastings checks out. Excellent. Check the remaining guards. Got one right here? No patch. Percival, we have a rebel on the ground floor. Understood. Keep searching. Ooh. Interesting. How about up top? Here we go. A patch. Percival. The guard atop the stairs is bona fide. Good. Keep looking. This guy has no patch. Can't see the correct Come on. shoulder. Turn around. He's not gonna have a patch. He looks sus as fuck. Yep. Damn. No patch. There is a rebel on the opposing balcony. Acknowledge. Make sure you check them all. How does he not that see was me? The last one. Good. Eliminate any threats. Acknowledge. Weapon loaded. Good hunting. Fuck. One down. One remaining. Where is he? They don't hear this shit, dude. This is crazy. Galahad, have you cleared the rebels? Lucan! Rebels! Get Hastings out now! Get him out of here! Ah! Oh my god! Hastings got away. I need backup. Everyone look to plan B. Percival, the mark is down. Rebels incoming. I need support now. Understood. We'll converge on you. How did it not... Hello? How did you not see they don't have patches? Stop the rebels from entering the foyer. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Damn it. Somebody finish this Oh, 
Come on, asshole. Damn it. Ooh, that's another gun right there. Shit. Oh shit, this is dope. Come on, we've got like two more left. That's another one. <laughs> got him an arm. <laughs> Alright, so. Kind of glad I stayed up there. What the fuck does this guy have? <gasps> Holy hell. Yo, let me get that, bro. How can I pick that gun up? That was crazy. Incendiary shotgun. <laughs> oh, you guys are done. We're facing heavy resistance from the rebels. How many of them are on this bloody ship? Dude, this is crazy. Okay, let me just make sure there's no more ammo that I can pick up here. Some granatas. Thank you. All right, let's head upstairs. Wait, isn't this where we were supposed to go? Oh, okay, so... Oh, what? Wait, who just tried shooting me? My friends, the company guards have just been put on high alert. I fear those amateurs may shoot anyone on sight. Back off, damn it! Oh! <laughs> Back off! <laughs> Little shit. What the bloody hell was that? A bomb just detonated on the front engine. Everyone, fall back! I'm up! You! Everyone! There's a rebel commander on board. It's the woman from Whitechapel. I'm in pursuit. Do not let her get away. Damn it. Reloading. Damn it. He's killing us. Gunslinger, baby. Okay, where'd she go? Is it this way? I've managed to capture one of the rebels. Good. Keep him restrained. I'll be there shortly. Oh my god, where do we go? Is it down here? Severe damage to the yes. Side. Emergency response teams to B12 and B13. Oh my god! Something or somebody's about to pop out of here. Damn it! Percival, I've lost the mark. I'm maintaining pursuit. Negative. Regroup of the lifeboats. We have a bigger problem. The oh. rebels have a second device on board. Bloody. You're kidding me. All right. I'm on my way back. That was a cool mission, man. Listen, that was really cool. Look at that shit. what you would call reasonable. Cool. We could not have foreseen these circumstances, Alistair. Your mission to Whitechapel was to remain covert. I have received word of numerous casualties and reports of destruction to the London Hospital. And now this! I intend to stand by my word. I alone will assume responsibility for all the consequences that may befall us. Sebastian. You do understand. There is little I can do to protect you from the wrath of the Lord Chancellor, or of the Order. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device before it detonates. Oh, good night, your assistance. We, we must all hurry off the ship before things get worse. Sir Lucan will escort you and see to the evacuation. We must resume our pursuit. Oh, surely this is a situation for all hands. 
hope you do not intend to stay aboard. We will join you as soon as we can. Izzy, see to these people, then head to the cockpit. No, I'm coming with you. Izzy, you need to find Lafayette and get off this ship. I... Your brother charged me to bring you back safely. Do this for me. Roller coaster down and then got a parachute. We need weapons. There's a guard station nearby. We can avail ourselves of the company's arms. Oh my god, look at that crap. <laughs> so cool. So it looks like all the passengers have left. The rebels will be sending someone to detonate the second explosion. And we're here. The rebel leader. She and an accomplice escaped to enact a contingency plan. That must be it. Agreed. Let's get back to it. And we're here with a ship that's about to blow. That's, uh, God, that's the price of duty, I'll stay I guess. here. See if you can get to the weapons hold. Okay, hold on. We gotta go to the archives. Evacuation procedures. Agamemnon, crew instructions and training manual, chapter three. Evacuation procedures. Remember, while aboard this airship, your standing orders are to ensure the safety of its passengers and cargo at all costs. Upon emergency declaration, dignitaries and other high-priority individuals should receive your attention above all other passengers and crew. Priority cargo should be secured immediately thereafter. In the event of a ship-wide evacuation, report to your commanding officer for emergency directives. Be sure to maintain a calm and collected demeanor at all times, so as to avoid alarming any passengers. The class prioritized order for evacuation will be broadcast via the shipwide loudspeakers. Under no circumstance should you depart the vessel until you have received the clearly stated directive that company personnel are approved for evacuation. Any personnel in violation of this mandate will face immediate disciplinary action up to and including summary execution. Jesus. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here that we can pick up before we head out. All gentry are away. Repeat, all gentry what is this? Company rats fleeing their sinking ship. Cowards. That's what I said. Well, not really, but in my mind, that's what I said. Leave it to the bad guys who have to stay here and take care of business. If what you need, then we should move on. Fuck yeah. I, mean, I don't know. Should I take that over the... Well, I don't have any incendiary ammo, to be honest. Maybe now I do. Oh, these weapons are tempting. The master has stopped this ship well enough to support a small army. <laughs> the company's guard are not known for their subtlety. I fail to see the benefit in allowing the company to run its own army. Okay, I think we're pretty much set for now. Oh, what was that? Yeah, no ammo. It's kind of useless. There may be rebels ahead. Be ready. Have you not seen what I got in front of me, man? I am ready. Let's go. I'm here to kill these assholes. Get the door. I'll cover you. As long as we don't come across any of these damn werewolves, I think we're good. The rebels are resorting to bolder methods. That they are. Something's in this. This is too bold even for them. You may be right, but we still must stop them from making things worse. Dude, you scared the crap out of me, man. Everything's a little bit too quiet now. <laughs> oh, fuck! I knew something was coming. Ah, oh, gosh, shit. Everyone, please stay calm. 
today oh we ain't playing no games and yeah, we ain't playing yeah, we're not oh. oh shit My guy. Reloading. The guy with the incendiary ammo is it's too crazy. Got him. Target down. Clear. Keep moving. We I don't know. I find that second device. I kind of want to get that incendiary shotgun, but it's like I have so many bullets for this gun. God, these guys are insane. See, I told you this game just went from just being very casual, to all of a sudden going off crazy. Room clear. We need to keep after the mark. He must have gone through there. The hell? How'd you get here? What the frick? separated again that's just great saved my life there bucko that was a close one old friend too close for comfort uh, leave it be uh, uh, there must be another way there's no time go on without me i'll find another way through and don't lose the mark oh this is not good Bon voyage, is that what it said? Look how beautiful this looks here, dude. Oh, not so beautiful anymore now, is it? Lafayette, what's going on? The damage from the explosion is getting worse. How long can you stabilize this ship? Not long, monsieur. Hey, guys are crazy. I think it's, we're gonna have to go downstairs on that. Yep. Let me just make sure there's nothing extra around here. It's such a freaking cool ship. Or aircraft, I guess. I'm getting some heavy Titanic vibes right now. <laughs> we go deeper? Really? Deeper? Oh, shoot. Okay. I need to make a sequel to this game, dude. I've been saying this. Lafayette! We lost multiple gas down. The ship is uncontrollable. Got a 
Hold your fire! There's no time, Percival! We have to stop him! Trust me, Grayson! Listen to me, lad. Stand down. You have no idea who you're dealing with! We are not the enemy! Then prove it! Stop this madness. No. Not as long as the company is allowed to carry on and obstruct it. They won't. We'll see to it. It's too late. Sebastian! Friend. You don't have to do it. Look at this. Through here, maybe? Dude, this thing is cr Damn it. Oh man, I hope they're oh god, I hope he's not dead. know when it is that we get to that point where no 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 please no no Whew. I wanna know when it is that we get to that point where we become a prisoner like what what happens I'm so intrigued God, this is such a good Susan, game. Sagramore, Elian, we've lost contact with Percival and Galahad. I need any able bodied knight in the vicinity of the Crystal Palace to respond. It's me. Gray? Gray, respond. No, no, no. Where the hell are you? Everyone! So Galahad is alive! <laughs> Oh, please don't tell me he's dead. No. Oh, what the fuck, dude? He was such a good character, too. Please tell me he's not really dead. Oh my god. That fucking. 
fucking sucks, bro. I'll do this alone. You two head up to the council. Great. It's all right, is he? This is not going to be good. I'll join you in time for the succession. Mes pensées sont avec vous, monsieur. My condolences. Sir Percival was a great man. The best of us. I took the liberty of keeping these aside. I know it is not standard protocol. We inspect it any further or Grace. Hmm. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. My brother. So he was. But concern yourself with the upcoming solemnities. The rest can wait. Too many questions remain, Alistair. I intend to find answers. Mallory's death will be avenged. Do not fall prey to dark thoughts of retribution. That way madness lies. Come. The council awaits our presence. Lord Hastings is on his way from the United India House. He wishes to thank you in person for saving his life and the lives of all the other people on the ship. The United India Company owes you a debt of gratitude. I could be off on this, but I still don't trust that guy. I don't know. I don't know. For over six centuries, the knight called Sir Percival sat with us in Brotherhood. He saw entire kingdoms perish, and others equally transitory take their place. He saw the rise of the half-breeds, and was relentless in their pursuit. To all these things he bore witness, because he was blessed by this. The Grail. The black water that courses through our veins. The bond that unites this order. The elixir which heals all wounds and extends the life of natural men. Yet it cannot ensure immortality. Now, Sebastian Mallory, once Sir Percival is dead. There is a tradition of bestowing a knighthood in our order only on the occasion of the death of him who bears that honor and burden. Generation after generation, new knights have taken the names of their hallowed predecessors. We are assembled here today on just such a solemn occasion.
from blood of old. The Grail will give new life to you, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock, Gilbert de Mortier, Marquis de Lafayette, <laughs> Bro, swear to uphold the most noble precepts of our order. Do you pledge to give your life in service to our righteous cause? With all my heart and soul. Drink. May the Grail give you life beyond life. Look at his nails, how real that damn it's crazy. By this communion, you are bound to our sacred order. Henceforth, only your blood shall replenish this vial. <laughs> May the black water serve you well. Always use it wisely. I dub thee Sir Percival, servant of our great king and knight of the round table. Rise, Sir Percival, and assume your rightful place at our table. Man, that's hard. That's got to be hard. You just... Ugh. Guards! Remove Sebastian Mallory's body from the council chamber and take him to the crypt. Just like that, huh? This council is now called to order. Let the terrible tragedy which has befallen us serve as a warning to those who would defy the mandates of this office. The late Sebastian Mallory did not perish in the fight against the heartbreaks. No. I know it. He died a victim of his own heedless enterprise and the negligence of those sworn to uphold the highest standards of duty and sacrifice. And to what purpose? Lord Chancellor, I must have- Public buildings destroyed. I knew it. I knew this Innocent was coming. Innocent citizens placed at risk. Incalculable damage done to United India Company property. It is only by the mercy of Providence that an even greater disaster was avoided. All this while not a single rebel was taken into custody. On the contrary, by their rogue actions, the knights in question may have done the enemy a great service. The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Substantial evidence. Mere supposition, all of which resulted in a deplorable calamity. I will hear no more of the matter. With respect, Lord Chancellor. Sit down, Sir Galahad! With respect! I, too, have lost a friend. More than a friend. A brother. You do great wrong to sully his name in such a manner. You dance on the very edge of insubordination, Sir Knight. I am apprehensive of my responsibility in this affair. Yet if the same circumstances should present themselves, I would do exactly as I have done. Oh my god. As Mallory wished. My lords! Sirs! The rebels have ambushed Lord Hastings' carriage. He and his escort are trapped on the Westminster Bridge. All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all. Sir Galahad! This matter is not yet over. Someone will yet answer for Sebastian Mallory's death. <laughs> Are you? You can be sure. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Watch. That's probably how we're gonna end up in prison. Arm yourselves and take defensive positions on the bridge. They're gonna flip this crap on us. Galahad, your command. 
Let's go. Sir Galahad! The carriage carrying Lord Hastings was hid in the middle of the bridge. We're not sure if anyone's alive. Lucan, Egrain, Percival, with me. Hastings may still be alive. We must reach him. Bro, you I'm kidding? being pinned down. He needs cover, Briar. One of them has an arm gun. You know what? I'm gonna pull out the other gun. Marksman, baby. Oh, come on! I can't melee him! I'm dead. Oh my freaking lord. Come here, asshole. Oh shit, that horse is dead. We must recover Lord Hastings. We need to get Hastings out. I'll cover you. Lucan, Egrain, on my mark. Pull him out when I lift the carriage. Understood. Ready? There's no way this is possible. No! We have him! Everyone fall back to the palace! Gray, where are you going? To finish what we started. This is no time for vengeance. Come to your senses. Gray, stop! I got this, baby girl. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't got it. I literally did a dodge and roll and... and <laughs> I, I just dodged towards the grenade. That was. You know what? That's it. Enough. Undivided attention. You guys don't piss me off, man. Lord Hastings is secure. Does anyone have eyes on Galahad? Air Command, do we have any Sentinels above our position? Sir Lucan, this is Sentinel 3. We are one league north, of the bridge, and closing. Sentinel 3! Find Sir Galahad and keep your eyes on him without fail. He's got me pinned. Be careful. He's got me pinned. All right, let's get it. Oh, he died. Nice. Oh, these guys too. Oh, they're coming from this way now. Dude, that fucking shotgun is dangerous. God, this little handgun is so trash. here through here yeah Oi, Dude, this is crazy i need one over here the other on the right the fact that we're going all the way past the castle is a little bit ludicrous come on hurry sentinel three i need air support we are approaching your position sir galahad acknowledge Right up ahead. Take it back. Bloody rebels. 
Sir Galahad, we have spotted an artillery position at a quarry east of your location. A shoulder cannon from the look of it. Understood. Shit, man. Galahad, rebels are moving in on your position. Let them come. Look how blurry that shit is back there. Do not lose sight of him. I'm on. Come on. We've got this. As long as we keep our composure here, we should be a okay. Anything else? I heard you like fire, punk. I, I, I'm still doubting if I should let go of my art gun or not. It's such a good weapon. Sir Galahad, the rebels are in retreat. The royal army is en route. They will contain the threat from here. Oh, shit. Things just got a little crazy. Army. This is my fight. Holy hell. This is what's going to cost us to go to prison. It's right here. This this is exactly what's... This is the turning point, indeed. Please remain clear of the east end of Westminster Bridge. We are witnessing heavy artillery fire at the moment. We're pretty much disobeying right now the order. Galahad, this is a direct command. Stand down. Galahad, what are you doing? Come to your senses and return to the palace. Where's the Indian woman? Where is she? Where is she? Where? Tell me! Tell me! White Chapel. Brothel. Where is Sir Galahad? Lady Igraine. Sir Galahad is near the east end of the bridge. Stay on him until we can get to his position. We're back here, huh? Hmm. Leonard, a drink. A drink, goddamn you! Absinthe.
Batman has gone mad. Are you drowning in your sorrows, or your ignorance, Knight? Neither. I was waiting for you to show up. And? I need some answers. Answers? Is that why you killed all my men? Death always follows in your path. And yours will be next if you don't give me what I need. You'll have to excuse me if your offer doesn't entice me. I don't respond well to threats. Then you're of no use to me. Do your worst. So much animosity. Mm. You look like you can use some of this, Knight. The Blackwater. But how did you get Shall we call this a temporary truce? Apna hatare niche karo. Devi. If it keeps you at ease, you can keep your gun pointed. But I am the one you seek, not her. We have much to discuss. Let us find a more private setting. Bro, this game is awesome. <laughs> this game is fucking awesome. There's just no way about it. There's no way around it. It's a great game. You seek to avenge your friend Mallory. I do not presume to speak his name. He was betrayed. You have all been betrayed. <laughs> betrayed? By whom? The men you call masters. The Order of Knights calls no one master. I knew it. Not even the Queen. <laughs> you are an empire of bootlickers groveling at the feet of the mighty United India Company. Guard your tongue, woman! Your honorable cooperation spreads the very scourge you have so valiantly sworn to fight. The rantings of a fanatic! You seek the wrong enemy. We both fight the same evil. Why should I believe the word of a rebel and an assassin? We are more alike than you think. We have nothing in common. Do not allow your friend to have died in vain. Enough! Tell me why I should not kill you. There are things worse than death, Knight. Much worse. And if it is mine you seek in your misguided quest, then so be it. My death is a worthy sacrifice. Do you deny the attempt to kill Lord Hastings? He deserves to die along with every one of his collaborators. And you expect us to just step aside while you carry out your campaign of terror? Things are not as they seem. The company's secrets are well kept. Even from the Order. What secrets? Oh my god. <laughs> I do not have time for games. There is little I can say to sway your convictions. But there are things I can show you to give you the explanation you need. Your answers await at the company's docks in Blackwall Yard. But we must hurry. You had better be right. For your own sake.
The underground tunnels would lead us to Blackwall Yard. Be prepared to meet heavy resistance from the United India Guards. Until I say otherwise, we will not harm innocent men. <laughs> None of them are innocent. All the same, you will abide by my rules if you expect me to follow you. Very well. Hanging up your colors so soon? The Order cannot be seen as having any part of this. So this is where things get crazy for him. Where he looks like a traitor. But he's just looking for answers. See you playing. He's probably going to see his armor there. Or not. I mean, that's where he put it, right? To leave a note. looks like a traitor to them oh my god this guy's crazy oh he's so crazy oh this game is so good Breed's ancestors. An ancient race born into their unnatural state, not turned like most others. They're all but extinct. You are wrong to speak of them in the past. They walk among us. <laughs> this game is so darn good. We're gonna end it here, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, drop it a like. If that's something, of course, that you're into and if you want to support the video. The better these videos do, the faster I'll upload them. I do plan on ramping up these videos, these episodes for this game <clears throat> after this one. So, thank you for watching. I really hope you guys are excited as I am because this game is just flat out fantastic. So, thank you again, and I'll catch you on the next one.